This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Good morning everybody, thank you very much for watching my video. You may have been able to tell already that I'm in a different truck today. I'm actually in the boss's truck, which uh, looks nice. It's got lights all over it and it's uh, the polar bear wrap. And uh, yeah, so we're taking this out for a spin today. We've got to go to Junction 2 on the M42, just south of Birmingham. So let's get crack a in. This truck has got, um, what do you call it? Like, uh, it's got like twin stacks on the back of the cab. So um, it sounds beefy. You might be able to see the bags there in the background. What's this vehicle doing? Yes, that's good. Sorry boss, but it's getting adjusted, so same as the seat as well. My boss is uh, pretty he's skinny and he's about five foot tall. <laughs> so um, he's a lot smaller than I am. Because I'm like six foot five, about six foot three, sorry, not five. So the exhaust is pretty loud even with the windows closed. Right. Yes, yeah, so we come in this morning, we've done all the daily checks, double checked all the uh, straps were done up tight. Because um, I had to strap it all up last night before I went home in the end. And the reason why we're, uh, I'm taking his truck and I'm just swapping the trailer over is just, it just saves all the hassle. Like, if I, the, the plan originally was I was going to be taking this trailer in my truck, but that would mean I have to unhitch this tra uh, truck from this trailer put my truck onto this trailer, do the delivery, come back, unhitch my truck from this trailer again, put my truck back onto the other trailer, and then hook this truck back up to this trailer. That's just a lot of effort, so I might as well just take this truck up, come back, and then jump in mine again, which is already hitched up to my trailer. So, the only reason I'm taking this trailer is because it's not a curtain side of trailer, and it's not tall. The place where we're going, uh, apparently there's lots of low trees in the way, so that's gonna be fun. And of course, we are going to get it all on camera as well, so. <laughs> but yeah, lots of uh, trees in the way. Got to be there for seven o'clock. Current ETA is quarter to seven, so not doing too bad at the moment. Hopefully, we don't get caught up in any traffic. We're about an hour and a half away. So let's get crack a in. I'll see you when we get a little bit closer. Right, we are on the M5. We got about 48 minutes worth of driving left to do. I've just noticed my my dad's behind me. He was in yesterday's vlog and he's about to overtake me now. So uh, I've got some air horns on this truck, so I will be beeping him as he goes past, as I'm sure he will too. So I'm slowing down a little bit because he is faster than me. Um, as always, I've got no idea what I'm actually doing to, uh, later on today. So I've got to go back, drop, uh, swap the trucks into my cab, get into my cab and then carry on. But I don't know what it is I'm doing. We're supposed to do three runs a day. So um, we'll have to just wait and see, won't we? Have to wait and see. Anyway, just waiting for my dad to overtake. There he comes. One minute past six right now. Flash him in. 
Oh, there he's not coming in. I think we're a little bit faster than this vehicle in front as well, so we might be going for the overtake as well. Yeah, we're going to overtake. We are going faster. Lane two. Let's crack on. So, let's crack on and get a little bit closer. Right, so we've just come off the M42 now. And uh, about three and a half miles away. And what I plan to do is vlog all the way in, because uh, it could be entertaining. It might not be entertaining, but it might be entertaining. We seem to see. But yeah, I've been told uh, that it's Bendy Roads and there's low hanging trees. I've got to keep, out, keep an eye out for trees. And if I go too fast, I'll miss the turn in. <laughs> and then it's a single track lane. Uh, and also, I'm still 10 minutes early, so I might be blocking the lane. Who knows? Uh, the photo he sent me, it looks like if I park back from the entrance, the car could get into the entrance. I can drive forward and then he can go past me. So that's what I'm hoping to do. I'm just going to keep an eye out for vehicles be behind me so I can do the same but in reverse, i.e. move forward first let them come to the side of me and then reverse back again. But yes, so uh, two and a half miles away now. It's 20 to seven. 20 to seven in the morning. We started at five, did our checks. It's a bit annoying when you're uh, in someone else's truck because nothing's where you keep it. So little things like the daily check, but I keep that in a certain place. It's in my in my uh, bottom drawer or some actually in my top drawer. Sorry, it's in my top drawer. Um, so when I jumped in this cab, the first thing I did was jump, you know, look in the top drawer, but I couldn't find it. So then you're looking around, looking in cupboard, and you're basically going through someone else's stuff. I mean, your boss is a bit a bit weird. I mean, I don't really want to be going through all this stuff. He, at the end of the day, he, this is his truck. He drives his truck. He lives in his truck sometimes. So I don't want to be going through everything if I can't help it. Anyway, it turns out he's right next to me on the side, which is where I keep my paperwork in my cab. So it kind of makes sense in a way. But yeah, we've got some low trees here, look. This is why I've had to take the flatbed Around this roundabout. Ooh, that was actually a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Time to start concentrating, I think. Two more miles. And the roads are only going to get worse. <laughs> yeah, the uh, cigarette lighter don't work in here either, so I had nothing to plug my sat nav into. Luckily, um, the truck has a uh, cigarette lighted down the side of the passenger footwell. Are you going to keep coming? Yeah, you are. Yeah, it's got a cigarette lighted down in the passenger footwell, and um, that means I can plug it in my sat nav into there instead, so that's what I've done. This road could be a bit of a nightmare later if it gets busy. I'm having to take up the majority of the road space here. Priority over oncoming vehicles. So I can go first. But I still need to take up most of the road coming around here. We're proper heavy as well. I think my boss said something about the bags. They're not even completely full up because the stuff is so heavy. I think that's what he said. Or he might have said that they're on more low trees. He might have said that actually they're not, but I don't know what he said, I can't remember. <laughs> I should really start concentrating more on the road ahead rather than thinking about stuff my boss said. Another low tree there. Just got 
try and dodge some of these trees. Some of, a lot of them are alright at the moment, it's just like a little bit of bush. No thick branches, but sometimes the thick branches are hidden and they're the ones you've got to keep an eye out for because that will smash your windscreen or take off a light. Actually, he has broken a light coming to this drop. Just remembered that, so um, just goes to show you, I've got to be careful. A lot of these roads are not very friendly for trucks of an arctic size. Big branch there, just missed that. We're all good there. <clears throat> all good. One and a half miles left to go. God, that was a long half mile, wasn't it? Actually one and one quarter, so it's three quarters of a mile. We just did. This isn't even the worst bit yet, apparently. It's when I've got to go down to that single track, that's when it starts getting quite tight, according to him. I'm not sure why I'm doing this and not him. I think he's got to do something else. I'm not entirely sure. Um, there's some low branches there. I'm going to have to go quite slow when we have to go down the single track lane. The fact that I've just remembered he, he has taken a light out on the top of the roof uh, worries me a little bit. Got an arch bridge here. Where's that van going? He's coming straight down. I need to be on the side of the road. That car did not want to stop. It's an arch bridge, I got to be in the middle. And he just kept coming. Idiot drivers. I still said thanks, shouldn't have. I only said thank you because I, I forced him to stop. If I budged over, I would have taken out some more lights. Never mind. Anyway, this right hand turn's coming up in a sec. Lots of low trees. Probably put the beacons on as soon as I go around the corner, actually. Right, round this left bend, then turn right. I'm already indicating to tell the vehicle behind. Jesus, it's a bit tighter than I thought it was going to be. Well, we made it around the corner. Is that the beacons? I can't remember if that was the beacons. Nice flashing lights. As in strobe lights. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is tight. Lots of bush. This is what he warned me about. no real way of missing it either like you go too too far to the right and there's the, the thickest branches too far to the left and they're lower down I 
I did say thank you. She didn't wave back. So she's not happy about me coming down here. Tough titties. We've got to go a little bit further down here, yeah? They were definitely the worst. All right, according to my sat nav, we've reached our destination, but we have not. Got to go a little bit further down here. Sorry, I'm not talking much, I'm just trying to concentrate. Right, this is where we've got to be. The gate is not open. So we're just going to have to wait here. Allow cars to come through here if they're coming forward. And uh, once they're in there, I drive forward, let them out behind me, and vice versa if they come behind me. Yeah, so we're just going to have to sit tight now and uh, keep an eye out for vehicles. Fun, fun, fun! This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV Class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys. Check out their online presence. They got a 91.7% first time pass rate. And if you quote Luke, so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price beat they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Right, that's it, job done. We're just waiting for this gate to open now. And then we can leave. Give us some space to open. It's very foggy around here. I reckon I can go a little bit closer. Right, we'll wait here, I think. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> Don't think that's straight, is it? There we go. Right, so we've got to try and get back out of here without causing too much damage to the truck. Let him go. Turn the hazards off. Beacons can stay on. Time now, by the way, is eight o'clock. So we've been there just over an hour. Uh, we've got to go back to the yard. It's another change of plan, always a change of plan. I'm not actually driving my truck today. Uh, my boss has got it. I'm driving my boss's truck and he's driving my truck. Um, instead, in yesterday's vlog, I briefly mentioned that someone's leaving and I may be driving that truck eventually full time but I'm actually going to be driving that truck later today um, and who knows it could be like that for forever from now on or it could be that I'm back in mine next week or tomorrow I don't know we'll just have to wait and see on that front but uh, yeah we had 17 straps on four of which were my bosses and the rest were mine I've got nowhere to go mate so you are going to have to wait for me somewhere he's flashing me so that's good careful of these trees that's all you 
put both thumbs up, so I don't know if you recognise me. Like, these are the trees which are a bit annoying. I've got to go slow under these. Oh, that one was a bit big. There's not a lot I can do. It doesn't matter where I go, I'm going to be hitting the bush. Just got to try and miss the big, thick ones, like I said earlier, and go slowly. We're trundling along so slow, my sat nav isn't picking it up. It's less than five miles an hour. I think these were the worst ones, weren't they? After these, it's okay. Take a left down here. If anyone's wondering, this is an automatic truck, not manual. Most trucks in auto are auto nowadays. I think CJ's is manual. Right, beacons off. Get going. Right, we're off. I'll see you back later then when we uh, when we got a different truck. And we're back, and we are in a different truck. I don't know whether you can tell. It's probably slightly different. Um, we are in the plain white truck, and it's uh, I actually quite like it. It's it's basically the same as my old truck um, that I drove driven before I had the Bandit. I love the fact it's got Bluetooth speakers and audio and I can hook my phone up to it and it's all hands-free because uh, normally I've either got to have earphones on in or hands-free apart or something like that. So it's really nice to have Bluetooth, stereo, but I don't know how, if I'm driving this truck tomorrow or whether it's for the rest of, from now on, I don't know. All I, all I know at the moment is it's just today, so we shall have to see. It's nice having the extra bit of power as well, being a 480 over a 440. And uh, yeah, it's nice on the inside. It does need cleaning though. Um, it's actually really dirty on the inside. I need to go all over it. I'm not saying mine's clean on the inside. I'm just saying it's probably as dirty. <laughs> My mine needs to clean anyway. But yeah, it's, um, you can't really see, but I've got, there's a dash mount here, which is nice. It's got, got a ball bar on the front, which I think you can see on the dash cam a little bit. Uh, it's got lights all over the front, curtains and all sorts. It's just, it's really nice. So if I did have this truck, get my LEDs on the bed again, hopefully get the sign up at the back. It'd look really nice in here. Got a microwave in here as well, so that's good. That's good. But yeah, I, personally, I wouldn't mind driving this truck from now on. And then eventually, I, I imagine it'd get wrapped, but who knows? Who knows? Anyway, for the rest of the day, I've got to do uh, a couple of runs, one to Cheltenham and one to Simon Sister, and then we're done for the day. However, that is going to be the end of this vlog. Um, because I believe it's a pretty long one because of the film that I did this morning. So I just want to say thank you very much for everybody who has watched. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping, well, I'm not necessarily hoping, but I, I think over the weekend I'm going to achieve 20,000 subscribers, so that's good. So this will probably be my last vlog um, before 20,000 subscribers. The next vlog will more than likely be above 20,000. So I just want to say thank you now to everybody who uh, has subscribed to me and has remained subscribed to me and uh, thank you to all those people who have watched me from the beginning and thank you to those of you who have just started watching now as well couldn't do it without you if I, I i've always said this i do i do the videos for me you know it, it doesn't matter to me if i got 20,000 subscribers or, or zero subscribers i make the videos because i enjoy making the content i enjoy editing them and i enjoy uploading I never imagined I'd get 20,000 subscribers. I never imagined I'd get 1,000 subscribers, let alone 20,000. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll always be uploading videos. I'm never gonna stop recording. But um, it's just nice to know that 20,000 of you are also watching it with me. So, thank you very much. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, drive safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.